Favorite TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Tracing the Mantles, the program that you always want to watch, that many of you have spoken to us and you're telling us you're always waiting for this program. It's always our joy to come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to you. And tonight, it's our deep desire, great, great, earnest prayer to the Lord that he will have an audience for himself. I'm sure tonight's program is prepared for specific people. And you are that one of those people. And I just want to ask you, as usual, to call your friends and tell them Tracing the Mantles is on. And that we got a program here tonight. And that God is ready to speak. God is ready to work. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Social media platforms, we are all over there place yeah call your people and tell them to join in of course those who join us on elevate tv it's always our joy so we joyfully 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 with our hearts come to us yearning and seeking god that he would do greater things than we know jesus taught his disciples that those who believe in me even greater things than these that i do they shall do this generation needs greater things. And we thank God for this conversation that God has given us the privilege to be able to be that voice that comes with this sound. Welcome tonight. We've got a guest for you. And I just want to go ahead and introduce him. And be aware and be sure your life will never be the same again. Amen. The man of God is... The one and only <laughs> Sam Tukura, the man of God, whom we have had the privilege of hosting you here many times. And uh, for me, it's a great joy oh, to man. have you on Tracing the Mantles. I'm just wondering, what is it going to be like? What is going to come out of this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not responsible. <laughs> Jesus Christ is responsible. And he will I have his way, sure. You are his mouthpiece. Amen. Karibu Kenya. Way. Asante. Asante, now you know. Asante now you sana. Know. Asante sana. <laughs> Look at that camera. Oh, that's my camera that's over there. That's your camera over there. Yeah. Yes, and All we right. just want to have joy and a conversation here. Blessed in the be the Lord. Of the Blessed Lord. be the Lord. Yes. Greet the people and invite them to the program and tell them something small about yourself. Well, I'm a simple servant of the Lord. Um, this is 40 years now following the Lord Jesus and serving him all around the world uh, physically i've been to all i've already walked into all five continents in the world right now praise god carrying the gospel of the lord praise and the i'm lord. just starting um, oh just beginning and uh, i have so much more to learn amen. amen so i believe that this short moment we have together on television uh god will have his way by the holy spirit blessedly Please open up your hearts. Mm. You're welcome. Call mm. your friends like she's already told us. Mm. Uh, I believe God will be glorified in this moment. Amen. Amen. You need to tell them that you come all the way from Oga land. Of course, I'm from Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right now in Kenya. Yes. But I'm from Nigeria, from yeah. where I shoot out to all parts of the world. Mm. Amen. From where he shoots out to all parts of the world. <laughs> Receive an anointing tonight and a grace as he speaks to shoot out. Amen. And to be shot out Amen. to all parts of the world. Praise God. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> the topic for today is that God is looking for a man. God is looking for a man. That there are things God cannot do. He is tied. And that's amazing to say. Until he finds a man on the 
us. I'm just about to let you loose no to get into that. And it, to me, it's like saying that the father found his son and gave him flesh. And so he was able to do what he always wanted to do on the earth. And it looks like that's a pattern of God. And he works like that. He has to find flesh. He has to find a man in the flesh. And tonight, I believe that God is going to speak to us so mightily. Amos 3, 7. It says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The prophets. Salvation is, is a secret. It's a mystery. Deliverance is a mystery. The kingdom of God is a mystery on the earth in human, human circles and human realms. And the scripture is saying that secret can only be revealed on the earth through men. So God is looking for a man. God will do nothing until he finds a man. Let's go in there now. Come in now. <laughs> and let's enter that and seek to bring a fellowship of men that must be found at one level or another by God so that our Father may do what he must do on the earth for such a time as this. And maybe the first question I would ask, is he finished? Has he done everything? Is there more he wants to do? So, so much to be done. Yes. There's a lot of work to be done. Mm -hmm. Yes, Christ has paid the price on the cross. Mm -hmm. He has died for the sins of all mankind. Mm -hmm. But now, like he will put it in scripture, there's a harvest. Mm -hmm. And he will say in Luke chapter 10, when he appointed 70 men, Luke 10 verse 1, he appointed 70 men and then sent them out two and two. Mm -hmm. In verse 2 there, he said to them, mm -hmm. the harvest is great, mm -hmm. but the laborers are few. Mm -hmm. So, when there's a scarcity of laborers, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a very great harvest, it's not a thing of joy to God's heart. Mm -hmm. Because if you go to Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 20, mm -hmm. uh, he said, some people will get to a point, a time will come, they will say, the harvest is past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Summer is ended and we are not saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great harvest. Mm -hmm. What's the harvest about? A harvest of souls. Why are we talking of a harvest? Normally, naturally, you talk of a harvest if there has been a sowing season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When was the sowing done before we now talk of a harvest? Mm -hmm. In John chapter 12, mm -hmm. verse 4, verse 24, mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus said, Except a corn of wheat. Mm. He was referring to himself as a corn of wheat. Mm -hmm. Except a corn of wheat drops to the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if he falls and dies, it comes forth with more fruit. His death produces us more. His mm -hmm. death produces more children unto God, unto glory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His death is the prize for salvation. Mm -hmm. So, but the issue now is the harvest. Mm -hmm. The laborers are few. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. is not the one to come and do the labor. Mm -hmm. He's calling us into labor. Like Paul will say, we are co-laborers with God. First Corinthians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. So there is, there is yet much to be done. So, so much. That means then the, the subject matter of the laborers is very relevant right very, now. very very relevant and you said something amazing you said that uh, uh jesus said unless a grain of wheat drops to the drops ground to and the dies ground it abides and alone dies. and it he didn't want to remain alone and did, as yes. the son of god yeah he wants to by himself by yeah. his death yeah produce more sons yeah to god and before you said that you had, you had come from the point of view where you are saying so that there can be a harvest there must be a sowing yeah, and the sowing was the sowing God sowed his son. Yes. By and, death. And it looks to me, therefore, that even according to Paul, yeah. Paul says, it is no longer I that liveth, but Christ 
that lives in me. Yeah. That means Paul has died. Yeah. So it means this labor that's there for that God is looking for, um, then the thing that looks to me as like it is remaining or the entry point to the labor of the harvest therefore must be the grain of wheat now because we are in the order of Jesus Christ, yeah. the grain of wheat that must die. So it looks like God therefore is waiting for men who can die. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the, the root of the laborers is Christ himself who has died. His death has affected us mm -hmm. and we are products of his death. Praise his holy name. So as we become products of his death, mm -hmm. And resurrection mm -hmm. will be we now co-labor with him mm -hmm. to raise other lives mm. into the same life of Christ. Mm. So the laborers are few. Few. So God is still God will not harvest from heaven. No. He has to harvest. He has to get men to harvest on the earth. Yeah. And and, and you know, just to add to that, yeah. you know that when he said the laborers are few mm -hmm. in Luke chapter 10 verse 2 mm -hmm. he said the harvest is great but the laborers are few mm -hmm. if you had gone back to the chapter before it chapter 9 mm -hmm. verse 14 Jesus mm -hmm. multiplied bread and fish mm -hmm. and yeah. 5,000 men ate 5,000 men were available to eat his bread and fish but in chapter 10 verse 1 he only got 70 men to send mm-hmm <laughs> I hear you. So you have more eaters than laborers. Have mercy, Lord. <laughs> have mercy. When it comes to eating and enjoying the blessings of God, people are available. But when it comes to serving God, the number drops. And that is why God still needs men. Oh, sure. And, and I think you're just saying that, oh my God, we are all so many out there yeah. that are eating the bread. Every human being has fish. eaten from God. Every human being has eaten from God. There's nobody in life that's not eating from God. We are not eating out of our efforts. Beyond our efforts is God's provision. Either yes. you are a Christian or not a Christian. It is the same God, Father of all, providing and making provision and keeping us alive and healthy. And so if we have eaten from God, then it's imperative or it, it goes without saying that God expects for us to enter the harvest. Yeah. To enter the harvest. Yes. Yeah, let me come or proceed by something again that you said earlier alone, that the scripture says that, uh, um, I can't quote it correctly, but it says that the, 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 the summer has come. That's, and the that's Jeremiah 8 verse 20. <laughs> it says the harvest has passed the harvest has passed and summer is ended and summer is ended but we are not saved but we are meaning not... there are people who are going to get to that point who nobody came to harvest them nobody brought the gospel to them and the door of grace is closed rapture has taken place and they are crying out the harvest is past we didn't have anybody come to preach the gospel to us even as we're talking, many, the church, most of the preaching is done within the church. We don't go out to the streets. We don't go out to villages. We don't reach out to the sinners. Jesus did not stop in the temple or the synagogue. He went out to the water sides. That's what